What is up you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is a beautiful day. It's a good vlog today. Not because I'm riding Freddy today, but guess who's behind the camera? Hi. It's my <laughs> <laughs> yes, but do you see Wolverine around? Do you see Wolverine around? How did Faiz got here with me when I'm riding Freddy? Guys, meet the Fido Q1S. This is my new baby. And Faiz was riding this earlier just now. And uh, Faiz, what do you think of this guy? Um, throttle delay, but... <laughs> Faster than Fido. I mean faster than Freddy. <laughs> now as you guys know, I've been working with Mobot and they have tied me up and hooked me up with this beautiful baby. I need to come up with a name for this. Yeah. I need to come up with a name for this guy. But today, what we're gonna do is do a little review between the new Fido and Freddy, which is the old Fido. It's full suspension. Over here, Freddy has no suspension. Mobot was so kind enough to send me this Q1S because this is a UL2272 approved, safety approved, and Freddy is not. So by June this year, I would not be able to ride Freddy anymore. And this is my new baby now. Which Faiz is riding it at the moment? <laughs> Today we are using this newly opened park connector. Well, this park connector was here. It's actually the opposite of Ulu Pandang park connector. But it was on construction for like the last six months or four months. Four months. The last four months, this place here was on construction. And now it's open up. So Faiz and I, hey Faiz, good that you have an e-scooter as well now, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically it's not mine. Well, I mean, at least you get to ride. Yeah. Like you don't have to pedal. Yep. So, what do you think? E-scooter better than bicycles? Um, <laughs> shorter distances, I'm happy with e-scooters, but <laughs> if I were to be going further, yeah. which obviously e-scooters wouldn't be able to well, accomplish, yeah. Yeah. still stick with bicycles. The thing is the Fido Q1S is only 10 AH, so that means it's only like 30 kilometers. Uh, 30, 35 kilometers, depending on how fast you travel or how much throttle you use. But um, for commuting around the area here, then yes, this could work. Yeah, unlike Freddy, Freddy the old Fido is a 14 AH. It could travel 50 kilometers. But the thing is, Freddy is not UL approved, so I could only ride him till June. So I have to find a replacement. And big, big thank you again to Mobot for sending this new Fido for me. So if you guys want to check out Mobot, down in the description, I'll leave a link. Go check their website out and check out all the e-scooter models that they have or the e-bicycle. They have everything. You guys have seen that video that I went on a tour at Mobot and yeah, that place is amazing. All right, guys, back to the Q1S review. Biggest difference between the old Fido and the new Fido is the suspension. The new one has a front and rear suspension, whereas the old one does not have any. Both Fidos are running at 36 volts, 250 watt motors. They both have disc brakes, front and back. So the new Fido has an updated frame where your the frame itself and the rear has been removed and replaced with the suspension mount. Right, as you can see, the frame is a little bit different. This has a longer bar over here, whereas over here, it stops over here and there is a suspension there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, your basket is also gone. That is one point I need to point out, is that the old Fido, you could mount a basket, whereas the new one, there's no space for a basket. There's no mount for that. So it's going to be hard for me to bring my camera back. This the old one I could put my camera back. This, I'll probably have to sling it or, or something. <laughs> now what's good about the Fidos, both Fidos is that you could actually carry another passenger over here. The Fido you could actually put an adult. More than 25 kilos, no problem. If I'm not wrong and if I remember correctly, a Fido can carry a weight of 150 kilos. If somebody is like 80 and the other person is 40 or 50, then yeah, it still works because it's still under 
150 kilos. So what happens if you go above that? I've never tried it, but we are talking about the frame, you know, how durable the frame is for carrying weights on it. So only the Fido has that durability. All right. Yeah. Good to know. Yes, it's very important to know because some scooters, they have the back seat and the back seat is really only for kids. You can't have more than 25 kilos on that. Any given time, the frame might just snap and break. Especially when you're going fast or you're going on a bumpy road, that has a lot of stress on the frame. Important point to take note. Oh, one more thing. Yes. You get to do a wheelie. Yes, if you put too much weight on the back, your, excel, your pivot point is no well, longer. Well, Fido, you can't do wheelies, but there's this scooter called the Maxima SG. It is like 48 volts and all, but the position where you sit is all the way at the back. So if you just throttle immediately, there is a chance that this will go this way like that. And yes, I've tried it out before. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link here. We did a video reviewing a couple of scooters. Faiz, you were there for that one, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The one bad thing, and is this is nothing to do with the scooter. It is the LTA rule in Singapore. So if your scooter is UL2272 approved, you are not allowed to change a lot of stuff, including the handlebar. I think any stuff. <laughs> Which is silly. Seriously, it's silly, guys. Like, if you see my old Freddy, the handlebar is straight. I changed it. And it's a lot stable because it's a wider handlebar. It gives more stability while riding. Whereas this, this is a U-shaped handlebar. It's, uh, it's not as stable as that. <laughs> Alright, guys. Now we have gone through all the specs. Now let us give you our experience riding this. And what it feels like. MRT station, uh, not station, railway track, MRT track. So Faiz, yeah. how do you feel about the Q1S? Compared to Freddy, yes. there's a bit of a throttle delay. Oh, yes. Uh, yes guys, so, I actually feel it as well. I this can, has no throttle delay, that means the minute when I turn, it goes. This on the other hand, I can do this and yeah. it doesn't go. There we go. <laughs> it takes some time before the motor kicks in. But it could be the UL2272 safety thing and all that. It could be that. Yeah, maybe, but... It's probably I a safety like function. I don't like that. <laughs> what else, Faiz? Um, top speed on this is higher. Oh, yeah. For some reason, goes faster than Freddy. Even pick up faster as well. Yes. Yeah. So you got more torque in this as well. You gotta wait for the train train passing through. Now, I don't know if it's because of the battery because this is a new battery and this is an older battery. What do you think? Is it because it of technology be, or because of the battery? Should be because of the battery because the motor should be the same. Unless they're using a different model motor with the same power specs. Yes. Then it could be because of that that's causing the difference in performance. So performance-wise, this perform a lot better actually. Yeah? Yes. But feel-wise, this is better. Why? Because you got that immediate response. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. okay. We're talking about just the throttle wise, right? Yes, correct. Okay. And your seat is not as mushy as that. No, be, no, you can't say that, Faiz, because this this year, Freddy has spring seats. I prefer that. Yeah, okay, fine. The spring seats is more comfortable yes. than the full suspension. But yes. the reason is because of UL2272. We can't change anything. That's crap, right there. <laughs> so basically, we are just using the stock seat for this new scooter. I, I would say that the suspension takes up 20% of the road feel and the bumps. Oh, okay. So it yeah. still works, right? Yes, but still not as effective as that Freddy's seat. <laughs> uh, one day, I'll transfer that seat over here. <laughs> <laughs> just try and don't get caught. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, guys, I actually tried the Q1S earlier today but I didn't film it. But since I'm out, I let Faiz try it. And, and since we got two scooters, I might as well let him try it while I use the old one so that he could give his feedback and opinion on what it's like, the difference. Because Faiz has tried Freddy before. He has not tried the Q1S before. Oh, one more thing. This scooter is a lot lighter because it's using plastic mud guards. Front is also plastic, whereas Freddy, the old one, is using 
Yeah, metal. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Good thing, I get to <laughs> drink my milk tea now. <laughs> I love it because of the suspension. The suspension actually makes you feel lower to the ground. Well, Freddy, Freddy makes me feel like I'm always bouncing <laughs> because of the spring seat. This, if it goes on bumps, it absorbs the bumps. Okay, wait. What? You've been calling this and Q1S. Are you going to name it? <sighs> yeah. I got it. As a tribute to Kobe Bryant, I'm gonna call this Kobe. Kobe. Faiz? Yes. I introduce Kobe to you. Ah. Uh, okay, to the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, why Kobe? Firstly, it's a tribute to him. Second, it's black. It's black. <laughs> Kobe is the black mamba. Faiz, are you able to get like a Kobe sticker or something like that? Like, I wanna. I want to look for something and I'm going to like stick it somewhere so that it's like really cool, you know? I'll figure it out. Figure it out? Yeah. Alright, cool. We will make this a Kobe for sure. <laughs> what a wonderful joy right today! Kobe and Freddy with Faiz and Lionel. <laughs> Anyways guys, I think that's pretty much it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Do you have anything to add? See ya! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya. <laughs> I think at the moment, e-scooters is all about adapting. Because in the past, we have a lot of freedom riding around yeah. without dismounting and mounting onto the scooter. Right now, it's just about adapting. Knowing where you could ride, knowing the places, plan your route ahead. The only bad thing right now is that we have to plan, like if we are going somewhere, where's the park connector? Where is the shared path? And I think that's the only troublesome thing that we oh, have. one more. What? Unprecedented construction areas. We went through a lot of construction today. We managed to get off and push a bit. Yes, we did push a bit. Mm -hmm. Faiz, what do you think about pushing the e-scooter? It's the first time for him pushing a scooter. It's a hassle. <laughs> it's a huge hassle. It's all about adapting right now. If you can adapt and you know, find your way, plan your route, I think you could still use e-scooters in Singapore. You just have to wait for the rest of the park connectors to start popping up yeah. around Singapore. It will, it will, eventually it will. I don't think e-scooters are non-viable forms of transport because it's, it's still going to help you get in between places. Close by and you know, yeah. you Without enjoy the joy ride, right? yeah? Yeah. Without sweating, yeah? Yes, For the first time, yeah? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. Again. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Links in the description. Mobot, go check them out. Thank you, Mobot.